Joe here again. Welcome to the channel where we share with you the amazing foods and their benefits. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my egushi or egusi or agushi stew. So it's got so many names both in Nigeria and Ghana. So I usually like using um, agushi stew or soup, whatever you call it, or agushi stew with rice. But then recently, I think I have fallen in love with using it with pounded yam. But I'll show you how I use it with a pounded yam because just a goosey soup and pounded yam doesn't really go for me. So I'll share with you guys how I do it. And my oil in here, I'm using the avocado oil that I normally use on here. So this is a chosen food. And what I'm trying to do is not to fry the meat or the chicken. All I am trying to do is just lightly fry it. Because remember, this is stew, so I don't want any fried meat or, or chicken. So I'm using chicken, I'm using oxtail. This is my meat feast <laughs> stew. And the good part is this stew, I think it's only me. You like it, is that? Okay, so myself and my little daughter. <laughs> we are the only ones who enjoy this. So I make it and then put it in the Now I add my pepper blend here, which has onions, some herbs, rosemary and oregano, and my garlic is here. So I've got my frozen garlic, which has melted at this point. Here. So I'll leave this on. So the reason why I left it on a bit was for the tilapia or the kobe, the salted tilapia to become a bit hard. But then, as you can see, it's not too hard. And it's because it's bony, that's why. But I'll leave it in. When we are eating it, we'll just be careful. And this will stay on for about seven minutes. And I'll come back to it. A few moments later. So one thing I like about um, salted tilapia is that it's a no challenger. So no matter what meat you put, <laughs> you add it to, I mean, probably it's going to bring you that vibe. Man, I can just smell the kobe. <laughs> <laughs> all around but it's a good thing because sometimes the chicken you don't even taste anything especially these days 
so I'm going to add my Ekusi or Akushi that I blended and put in the fridge so at this point I'm not going to really mix it too much all I'm going to do is because it's going to behave like an um, egg if you've done egg stew yes that's how it's going to behave like that. so this is all I do and then salt it but I don't mind leaving the salt on it for now because it's going to go in later anyway I'm going to mix it up anyway and then my stock will also go in but remember just remember that I have Kobe in there but you know one thing the salted um, tilapia I'm using at the moment I soaked it in water for a long time so it can there will, it's a probability that there's not much salt in there so let's keep this for now and we'll taste it later to see how the salt is going but this is it basically leave it on lower the heat and then cover it and after about five minutes I'm going to come back to see what's happening to the the egushi if you don't know what I'm talking about so this is what we are cooking at the minute it's what we use for egusi or agushi as we say it in Ghana but here you can get it from Dalston or any of the markets or any of the I mean African markets so if you know the name in English let me know are these pumpkin seeds I I don't know if they are because I eat pumpkin seeds a lot but they are green so let me know if you know so this is all we're looking for here As you can see, I didn't add any um, tomatoes. You just have to allow the um, egusi seeds. Apparently, they are melon seeds, egusi melon seeds. I never knew this. I think I've seen it somewhere before, but it's been a long time, but I had, it had really eluded my memory. So see how it's become like egg? That's how you want it to be before adding the salt and um, the tomatoes to it. In fact, this time around we've made a big batch <laughs> just for the two of us. So we're going to portion them and put them in the freezer for some time. Anytime we want to eat it, we grab one one bowl and then make use of it okay so all i'm trying to do is to allow the the tomatoes to mix to mix well a bit and i'm going to leave it on again um, for a good about seven five to seven minutes so that the tomatoes will cook through anyway i'm using cooked tomatoes here so i just wanted to bring out a bit more of the juice and not forgetting the stock if you have any stock so this is some of the stock from the oxtail that i'm pouring in here so yes See my my salted tilapia is intact that's what how i need it i don't want it tearing apart or breaking up into the stew because we don't want bones everywhere um yeah little bones everywhere okay so we leave it on and let me test it okay i think it's good the salt is good at this moment
At this point, I'm going to add my grains, and this is the reason why I like agushi stew or agushi soup, however you call it. It's almost the same, but everyone does it in their own way. I love the grains that are in there. So my spinach, my kale, just to give me some energy. Sometimes I even add turkey berries to it. But this time around, I'm just adding the spinach and the kale. And my secret ingredient. So this helps me to eat the agushi stew with pounded yam. Because I tried it without okra and I realized, hmm, uh -uh. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> So another time I tried it with okra, I was like, uh -huh, the vibe, <laughs> that's the vibe. So I'm going to leave this on for some time, not too much um, of a time or not too many minutes or not, not too long. I'm going to leave this on for about seven to ten minutes but check it around seven minutes time the okra would have been cooked and then switch it off because you have the kill and um, spinach in there you don't want it to overcook just trying to allow the greens to get in Add more of the spinach. I love spinach because it helps to give me energy, especially when I am low in energy. I just make my smoothie, my spinach smoothie, and continuously for about three days, and I'll be fine. So, yes, we'll leave it on and come back to it. Ah, this is the vibe. Okay, so my agushi stew is done. Ah, when it gets to this point, it's musical. Just sing. Hmm? Hmm. In fact, this is wetting my appetite already. See, all I need is a little bit of the sauce. Not too much meat, but I need my okra because I love okra. And also, see me looking through, <laughs> looking, I'm looking for the tilapia. Well, I found a part of it. Hmm. Hey! Ah! And ne. Jai! Mm. Guys. Thank you for joining me today ah, and for staying tuned. Please subscribe, like, and share this. You need to try this all because, mm, mm, oh my, my, I can see another hand coming. <laughs> Bye guys.